Yeah. Um, France football released the highest paid coaches in the world. Mm -hmm. And the second that I saw this, I instantly thought about you, Antonio. Um, now, before we get into this, this is highest paid, not just salary by the club. I want to make this very clear for France football. They are putting everything into account. How much the player makes every single year, sponsorships, endorsements, all this kind of stuff. The, the all player that stuff. or the coach? Player or coach? Coach, coach, coach. Okay. Um, I don't know if you guys have a guess, but the top three is Diego Simeone, number one. Guardiola? No, no. Diego Simeone. Simeone. Yeah. Simeone at 40 million a year. Forty million a year, before b before taxes. Mm -hmm. um, number two, and this is the one I was waiting for. This oh. is Antonio Conte at thirty million a year. What a waste! What a waste! This money thrown into the garbage. Number number three is um, Pep Guardiola mm. at twenty seven million. Wow. Number four is Klopp at twenty four. Mourinho um, number five at twenty three million. Zidane uh, in fifth. Um, I mean, they were tied. They were tied on 23 million. Then Valverde, 19. Cannavato, our boy Cannavato, 14 million a year. What about um, and then Allegri at 13 and a half million. Gasparini, probably one, one and a half million. The guy doesn't pay for money. The guy like pay. He's, he's, nowhere, he's nowhere on this yeah, list, Gasparini. I don't know why. Because people with talents, they don't coach for money. Okay? Just a bunch of loose. I mean, hey, listen, Simeone, for me, not that they deserve 40 million. But he's one at the top. That's a lot. Yeah, of talking money. talking about you get so mad at Conte for jumping around. Simeone jumps around more than anybody. Yeah, but Simeone, Simeone, when he jumps around, he makes his jump count. <laughs> okay. What is he jump scotch? Like, what is he doing? Conte jumps like a stupid uh, cricket or shrimp. He jumps <laughs> like a frying pan. He, he goes into the fire. So all his jumping is for nothing. The guy makes people more nervous than anything else. Simeone, when you see him jumping, he jumps. <laughs> okay. Was he hopscotch? Do you think he's hopscotch? <laughs> Simeone is a jumper, okay? <laughs> and I'm a flipper. <laughs> you are a flipper. Conte, forget about it. Uh, I, to be honest, I hope, I, I hope you understood what I saw, what I told you right now, right? Um, we're, we're still trying to decipher it. Yeah. Okay, so j listen, you can be jumping and make things happen, or you could be jumping and make things worse. So the first okay. one, okay. the second one is. <laughs> okay. P, P, what do you think about this list? Your buddy uh, Conte, who. Um, obviously, I don't want to remind you of uh, the things that happened. Knocked out of Champions League, not in first place in their first year. And I felt like a little bit you felt like maybe certain things. Do you think that he deserves to be the second highest paid coach in the world? I mean, deserves is, is a questionable uh, compared, term. Compared to every coach com in the world, do you think he's the second best? Um, listen, for what he's able to do, I do. <laughs> I, I, I agree. Yes. <laughs> Mike, listen to me. Antonio Conte, the players that he has compared to the players that Simeone has, compared to the players that Pep Guardiola has, Klopp has, yes, what he's been able to do as a career, I believe he does deserve to be up in the top five. Um, he's number two right now, so be it. Uh, Zhang has the money they can spend. They're willing to spend. They want to get their guy, and I give credit to. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa, 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 easy, please, easy. What did he do? He did not. Tell me what he do? He won with Juventus. So far, he had nobody. Wait. He won with Chelsea the first year. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So far, what has he done for Inter? He oh, is listen. out of the he Champions can't... League. It's number three or number four on the Italian Championship. He's probably not going to go move forward on the UEFA League. The guy's a waste. A how waste. is a waste? You can't determine it based on one year. Klopp we took how many years before he won a Champions League? With all the you just said you wanted to give Gasparini 10 years. But Listen 10 Champions me. Leagues. In 10 Listen years. to me. With all the players that this guy here has. It's Who? The, what does he have? That is, you can say, oh, my God. Right now, we're national, creating the team. Got two national teams sitting on the bench and another three national teams on the field. Yeah, but look at Juventus. Yeah. Juventus has a better team. But Juventus is not getting the second high-page coach. Sadi's not even in the top Wait, 20 yeah. over here. Listen, the reason why they haven't got the second highest coach because they wanted Guardiola. Guardiola said no. 
if Guardiola was there, he would have been a higher than he would have been higher than than Conte. Listen, that, listen, that doesn't, make, that doesn't make sense. sense though. If listen. Guardiola is free, they're gonna sign Guardiola. Who? Juventus. Listen. But you're telling me you're telling me that based off of what and now I'm I'm I've always been a guy that likes Conte, but I like Conte to an extent. I think that in Europe he has his limitations, and I think that he does create excuses for himself and problems where there doesn't need to be. And I think sometimes he values too much the hard work than the good players. But having said that, 30 million for him, in my opinion, is pretty crazy. And to see him above some of these guys who have legitimately won. In other places, and I understand your point that they've won with money behind them, I, and I get that. I think it's I think it's valid, but to me, yeah. thirty million for Conte is pretty crazy. For well, someone that never invented anything, he copied Gasparini. Actually, this guy here, and he actually doesn't even know to copy because copying all you do, you take a nice piece of a paper, like a transparent paper, and you trace. You trace an app. <laughs> the guys aren't even capable to trace. Maybe it's dyslexic. And maybe the guy can see anything. Maybe these guys are not even good. Like, you know, when you're, when you're growing up like a, a young kid, you've been given a coloring book and you, they tell you, hey, with the color, stay inside the line. Don't get off the line. You've been given shapes and you have to just fill up the shapes mm -hmm. with the color. These guys are not even capable to do that. So let me just tell you something. Conte is a waste. Okay? He might be a nice guy. But, you know, it's not, it's not deserving of the gotcha. $30 million uh, dollar that has been given. Okay, Pete, okay. Nothing, uh, nothing personal with you. you know no, that. it's not my money. Oh, uh, I know it's not your money. That's <laughs> my money, you know. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Guardiola, Guardiola deserves, for me, Guardiola should be number one. I'll tell you the reasons why. And Gasparini may be number two. All right, let's put it this way. <laughs> Let me tell you why I like Guardiola. I saw games of Barcelona played 10 years ago when Guardiola starting all of this tick attacker stuff, he was, you right, an horizontal game, left to right, left to right, left to right, and then between Xavi and Iniesta, they made any, everything happen, and uh, Villa. So everything, all of a sudden, from the left to right, right to left, left, left to right, right to left, the ball goes in, inside over there, and uh, the people, the, the people are like frozen over there, either Messi scoring, or Xavi scoring, or Iniesta scoring, mm -hmm. or anybody, a, anybody could have scored in Barcelona. It was not just one player scoring all the goals. Number one. Number two, the ticket tacket that Barcelona, uh, that, that, that was implemented in Barcelona by Guardiola, when you get to see, when you get to see Barcelona, I mean, uh, Manchester City under uh, the, the leadership of, uh, of Guardiola, you see the way the ticket tacket has changed. It's no, it's no more left to right, left to right, left to right. It's no more that stuff. It's just more vertical. They do some minor left, left and right, left and right, but then all of a sudden, everybody coming into the middle, to the middle, to the middle, to the middle. So uh, what does that tell you? That the guy, he, does, he has a system and he just uh, implements the system and he adapted the system to the player that he has. Okay? So new players, same system, but different, different stra strategy. And I'm sure he uses a different strategy for every team that he's facing. Mm -hmm. This guy is not a stiff like Conte. Conte is this 3-5-2. This it's always going to play the same nonsense and it's so boring. But, you know, Guardiola and Gasperini, you see a, a little difference. You see things happening right there, changing on the, on the, on the spot right there. So look at that. Look what he's doing right now. So you can see immediately what's going on. So with this uh, Conte, it's like you're watching uh, the grass grow, okay? <laughs> boring. 